biggest question that people have is how can something like this happen? This seems like a structurally sound building. We wanted to talk to somebody in the construction world to talk about what could have potentially caused this. So Lisa spoke with Dr. Kenneth Sands. He's the construction management assistant. Uh, he's a professor at Florida Gulf Coast University's Whitaker College of Engineering. So she picked his brain on what could have possibly led to this. Take a listen. First of all, Dr. Sands, thank you so much for doing this for us this morning and for joining us. We appreciate it. The first thing I wanted to ask you is what could cause a building like this, a condo building to collapse like this? So for a building like this to collapse, it could actually be a number of things. And even though this is not particularly my area of expertise, I've been involved with construction in a number of different ways to understand that it could be some surface conditions, possibly issues with the foundation. It could be perhaps uh, geotechnical issues um, that we really wouldn't be sure about unless there is some additional investigation. Um, there could have been structural issues, possibly some quality control issues during construction, or even there could have been issues with uh, the materials that were used on the project. But you really don't know unless you're able to do some sort of investigation to understand what would have led to um, a terrible incident like this. It really is just a heartbreaking thing to watch. It's just devastating to see the video of all of the damage. The next question I had is what are kind of the next steps for investigators now to determine what exactly caused all of this? What are they going to be looking for? So some of the things that they quite possibly will be looking for um, through an engineer failure analysis will be uh, taking a look at possibly what some of those, again, subsurface conditions would be. So what were the soil conditions? Were there any particular settlement over time just because the building itself, you know, it, it provides a, a, a static load to the ground? So what's happening is quite possibly there may have been some uh, unequal distribution or unequal settlement of the structure that could have led to this just based off of how everything looks, or there could have been some issues with the, again, the foundation itself. So possibly taking a look at the subsurface conditions, what was designed for uh, by the engineer versus what was actually built, maybe some of the things that we'll be taking a look at, uh, what, what investigators will take a look at. And I think that, um, that approach will help them to get a better idea of um, what some of those issues may uh, have been that would have caused uh, such a such a devastating um, uh, event like this. But you know, starting with that, quite possibly will be the, the the approach. I mean, I'm not an expert in this area, but that's probably where I would start if I was teaching my students. Um, look at look at that um, that first, and then start to move into other areas regarding quality control. Uh, what happened when uh, materials were actually installed or what types of materials were installed and well, what techniques were used for the installation as well. But um, I would start off with taking a look at what was in the geotechnical report, what the initial um, information was that was provided and then what happened after that. And I have to imagine it was probably a big priority to get the people out of the part of the building that was still standing as quickly as possible because of all of this that happened. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you definitely want to be able to get everybody out um, before any additional um, um, issues would occur. And I would imagine that um, those who would be in condos or buildings uh, within that area would um, actually be um, given some sort of fair warning or would be removed from those buildings as well until that um, investigation can be, at least the initial investigation of what happen possibly subsurface, um, that information would be able to come to light so that they can feel a little bit more comfortable staying where they, uh, where they, where they are or residing inside those spaces.